I'm Dr. Michael Patterson, Clinical Psychologist and EMDR Europe Accredited Senior Trainer. I run trainings and workshops for experienced mental health professionals. In this video, one of them is asking me a particular question. Please join us. But my, my question is, um, when people don't have a very clear memories, but they have, maybe they've had um, a repeat experience, like I'm thinking of people who might have been uh, constantly mocked or, or ridiculed, but they've got no one sort of memory. It's just a general feeling of feeling small or frozen, that sort of thing. Uh, would you have any suggestions about that, not one particular memory? Absolutely. So where we have a cluster of experiences such as that, that uh, feeling very small and isolated, it could be uh, in a cluster maybe in the home environment uh, where they, they were maybe just thrown into the corner and left there and ignored uh, or maybe beaten and then le just left there and uh, the needs of the child weren't being met. We could also have a cluster of maybe experiences at school as well uh, with the peer group or with teachers. So in which case I would identify those particular clusters in the history taking. And as uh, ensuring that the client is stable enough to process uh, whenever, and uh, so assuming in terms of a continuum of complexity from let's say the well-adjusted at this end to the most complex client presentation there. So if they're between here to about here, then probably in, in the second session, maybe the third session at the latest, I'll be into the processing starting with the early memory because they'll be well enough resourced and uh, they would uh, be able to regulate affect pretty well. So if that, if that was, would, if you can tick those boxes with the client, then you don't have to hang about and wait for months before you start processing. So let's say we've got the experience that the client says, well, I have this feeling of being isolated and alone. Well, as you think about it just now, is there a particular picture that would represent that for you? Uh, well, yeah, I've got this sort of picture of just me on my own, curled up and it's sort of half dark and it's cold. Okay, so the client, now whether this was the reality of the situation or not, it doesn't matter. It's just how it's represented for the client. So similarly with our client who has this image of being isolated and alone, how it's stored is how we can link into it. We get the negative and positive cognitions, the VOC, the emotion, the sud, the feeling in the body, and just go with that. Let whatever happens happen. Right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thanks.